Hey. What's this, from a new admirer? Old one, actually. Really? Bill, I thought you two weren't... Uh... No, we're not. It's, it's from Danny. Ah. Tad, you already looked through that mail. Well, I'm going to look through it again, okay? I was, uh, I was at the carriage house yesterday, helping Ben clean up some of his stuff, and a pizza was delivered to me with this as the topping. That's very pretty. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Pretty romantic, too. How come we didn't just drop it off in person? Guess it would have ruined the effect. Notice he hasn't been spending much time with uh, Robbie either. Well, I think that uh, he's been, you know, really busy with work. Yeah, which is what? I mean, what is his work now? Pretending to be dead again? Dad. Are you and Danny really going to get back together after everything that's happened? I didn't say that. I, I do love him. Well, I'm sure that he loves you too. I mean, but he's also brought more hell into your life than any one person should ever be expected I, to I bring. I know, I know, I know. We, we have our issues. Issues? You almost lost your life because of that man. There's still that spark between us. Sparks. Look, I'm not saying I know where this is going to lead because I don't. But I'm, I'm through denying that I have feelings for Danny. They're here, and they're real. Sometimes, no matter how much you love a person, you have got to walk away from them. I mean... I've done it. I know how hard it is, but I've done it. With Holly? Yes. And there, you just proved my point to me. Because look at you and Holly now. You're closer than ever. Only because we have spent years apart, because we have changed so much, we know that we would never make the same mistakes again, okay. ever. Okay, so it hasn't been years since Danny and I were together, but, but a lot has changed. Oh, Michelle. You know, Carmen's out of the picture now. Danny's out of the family business. Those were our two biggest obstacles, keeping us from having a sane life together. And maybe with them gone, maybe nothing's in our way now. Do you realize you sound exactly like Danny now? <sighs> Dad. I haven't forgotten how many times Carmen tried to kill me or, or take Robbie or, or turn Danny against me. The danger we faced was real, and it was constant. And all that nearly tore the hell out of yours in the process. Well, I, I made it a lot more painful than it needed to be. Or maybe he just didn't trust you. How about that? I mean, he didn't trust you enough to tell you that he was going to stage his own death. I mean, does that sound like love? Is that love? Yes, yes, I believe that it was. He, he was concerned for my safety. Concern for safety is not usually a major part of a relationship. I mean, there are other ways to be with a man. Yes, yeah, I know. I know, I tried that, right? Remember, the safe and insane route with Bill, and it didn't work. It didn't give him much time. Because well, it was already moving too fast, too much, too oh, soon. No, I'm... I still think that was too bad. I'm... It's too bad. Too bad, wasn't it? It would have solved everyone's problems if, if I could have just made things click with Bill, right? Right? I, I, I would have been with a solid right side of the tracks kind of guy. And, and, and all my friends and family could have just breathed a collective sigh of relief. Yeah, it sounded pretty good to me for a while. And to me, too. Until I realized that a relationship isn't about what seems right. It's about what is right. To your head and to your heart. A little perspective doesn't hurt either. <sighs> Do you know how many times Danny and I missed out on our chances to make things work between us? Yet we're still hovering around each other. It's got to mean something. Trouble. Or it's a sign that maybe, maybe we have another chance. If I could just get out of my own way and let it happen. You still think I'm wrong, don't you? I'd change your mind if I said yes. Probably.
Probably not. It would just be a waste of both our times. Well, when did she call? Uh-huh. She didn't leave a message? Okay. No, I'll give her a call back. Thanks, Tony. I think I've made you wait long enough, Michelle. I'm sorry that you couldn't sleep. Hey, want to call your daddy on his cell phone? And then he can say hello? Let's do that. I'll dial it. This is Danny Santos. Leave a message. Hi. I, uh... I just wanted you to know that the pizza was, uh, was beautiful. And, uh, just, uh, just give me a call when you're not busy, okay? <clears throat> I guess getting back together with your daddy is gonna be harder than I thought. Hmm. 